So, your kids run by you and they're covered in the great outdoors. And you try and count how many different types of stains you'll have to tackle. Then you smile because you may be the most environmentally conscious parent on the block. You run your washing machine on cold to cut energy use. Your stain fighting pre treaters help you from having to wash things twice. And your detergent helps things look newer, longer. And there you have it. You're saving water, using less energy, and getting longer wear out of your family's clothing. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. David Targan and welcome to BioBytes. Did I just describe you? Well, if you've ever wondered how all of this is possible, it's thanks to biotechnology and the development of industrial enzymes. Enzymes are present in all living things. They're also some of nature's hardest workers. Enzymes are a biocatalyst, which basically means whenever a substance needs to be changed into something else, these little guys speed up the process. And after they finish that task, they're released to do it all over again. Industrial enzyme reactions usually are produced under milder conditions, and they often don't need high heat or pressure to work, which helps save energy. For example, paper whitened with enzymes helps reduce the amount of harmful byproducts of chlorine bleaching. And new enzyme-based processes for manufacturing vitamins and pharmaceuticals require much less energy than traditional methods. Also, because most enzymes can be produced in an ecologically sound way, the waste they produce is often biodegradable or can be recycled as fertilizer. Biotechnology may have been used to produce many of the products that you use in your home every day. From your couch to your closet, enzymes are now widely used to prepare fabrics to make clothing, furniture, and other household items. That favorite pair of faded blue jeans probably got their look with the help of industrial enzymes. Enzymes are also used to make food products, biodegradable plastic, and bioethanol. And there is one place we use them almost every day. Our laundry detergent. For the last 40 years, using enzymes in detergent has been the largest of all industrial enzyme applications. So you could say that since the 1960s, using the washing machine has become a little less of an environmental burden. By lowering the optimal water temperature for getting clothes clean by up to 30 degrees, enzymes have helped reduce the amount of energy it takes to heat the water for your laundry. And that can help reduce CO2 emissions. By improving the cleaning performance of our favorite detergents, enzymes also help limit the amount of washing and the length of time it takes to get our clothes clean. And natural enzymes are biodegradable, so they have a reduced impact on our environment. For BioBytes, I'm Dr. David Targan.